Hi, we are Mike and Leanna of the Dry Campers, and we look like this inside of our camper because it's 50 degrees inside. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. But it's it's a balmy 29 outside, mm -hmm. and we're filming this today, Sunday, whatever number it is, 22, I think, March. So we're in Cincinnati, Ohio, where our um, furnace isn't actually working right now. So we have a space heater, um, mattress pad, heaters, mm -hmm. and one in electric blanket. the bed is crazy warm. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, but it's freaking but cold out here. I mean, I can see my breath. I oh, I that can too. On camera. I told you. It's yeah. cold. Mm -hmm. That means it's cold. <laughs> I don't do the cold weather, so hopefully... He'll be finishing up the install yeah. today. Yep. Um, and we will be on our way to Texas. Yay. Where there's warmer weather. Tuesday, <laughs> 83 degrees. If you haven't seen part one of the Grand Design Reflection install that we posted last Sunday, then go back and watch that. There'll be a link here so that you can get to that easily. And then it will make more sense if you watch part one first. But this, this install was pretty amazing. It took him so long to do it because, well, we had a lot going on. We were also doing a vendor rally at the uh, Our Village Rally in Live Oak, Florida. But the thing is, his specialty is, you know, making space or, you know, installing in the voids that the manufacturers don't use or whatever. This install is very difficult. It was very it's difficult. Very, very time consuming. You know, but, but how anybody comes up with where he put this stuff is beyond me i have no idea how his his process works up here <laughs> but it was uh pretty awesome and um just stay tuned to see how he did this install and and where he was able to fit all of this equipment which was pretty insane I put 500 amps of batteries and an MPPT in between the wardrobe and drawers and the shower. So, check it out. Alright, so, time to get the MultiPlus wired up. So, incoming comes in from back over this way and goes over to the uh, breaker box. Uh, here, all I did was cut in the middle. Now I'm wiring in here and then uh, the MultiPlus is upside down uh, to make it all um, easier to connect when it's in the proper position when it's vertical the left hand side terminals that is your incoming AC in the middle set is your outgoing AC which would go to your circuit breaker box and then um, you have an auxiliary AC out that works off of its internal transfer switch so uh, let's get this thing connected So when it's really early in an RV park and it's raining, which I don't know if you can tell it or not, but it's definitely. See, we're raining a little bit. I don't want to drag my whole, basically, workshop out of my truck. Oops. I have to find two things. Shelter and isolation away from, you know, other campers just to be respectful. Look at that. I'm gonna do a slight spin here. 
and there's nobody else around for cutting wood. So I gotta make a couple of uh, small pieces without disturbing anyone. So I kind of nailed two birds with one stone with this spot. Let's get cutting. Apparently that ink is not waterproof. This is this is the way to cheat. Hold the triangle, hold your pen very still at the whatever inch mark, for this one it was one inch. So now the whole way down the line is one inch. So my notes, if you can see that, turned into this. I'm going to be a fuse right here. I've got cutouts here and here to bring the wire in. Goes right here, and right beside it will be the Bluetooth uh, dongle for the MultiPlus. And then this we'll have right in the middle of it. We'll have the uh, automation relay and circuit breaker. Okay, so none of my notes. Turned into this. So, but I turned that into um, that. So, this is my next set of notes. So, we've got the, the, this thing. Everything is nice and clean. So this is going to be our primary battery storage compartment. It is under the three drawers in the bedroom. There's the wardrobe, dresser, beds behind me. I'm in the teeny tiny little walkway. It's going to be my new home for a little bit. And this is the before. This is the during. So back in the uh, armoire, three drawers, and uh, all of that's been removed. Uh, I've been doing some building and um, turn on my light. 
So I removed the two studs that were here, cut out the floor frame, battery sits right here. Um, and then one sits right here, one sits right here, one is vertical here and here, and PPT right there. Um, uh, I gotta do all the bracing to get it up off. No, it's not gonna sit on this. Um, I've gotta build the, the floor bracing to get it all lifted up. Um, and uh, try and uh, get this thing all anchored in, then uh, anchor the batteries in, uh, then get them all connected, and I think that's almost it. So, get it done. So thanks again for joining us on another video and if you have not caught some of our previous videos make sure that you go ahead and uh, look at those subscribe to our channel smash the like button and hit the um was the the bell so that you'll be dinged <laughs> whenever we um make new stuff if you haven't watched some of the previous videos we did let everyone know that we will be switching from our solar install videos from friday to sunday so we apologize if you haven't if you didn't catch that and then we'll be doing um we've got some more content coming of other stuff you know about our life and um about how we travel and things like that coming your way so we hope everybody is healthy and safe during this crisis time and um you know we're we've got good vibes coming your way and prayers uh, for anyone who is sick and um you know we're we i think we're lucky as far as being able to um Still stay around we'll stay on a farm for our next site and then as far as i know our next couple of reservations are still intact so um i know that a lot of full-timers are super concerned about where they're going to go and um you know as the state parks are closing and things like that so um you know we just are sending good vibes your way and hope that everything works out and uh, this sickness is over soon yeah so we will see you on the road when all this gets over with Oops. there's something for her to edit out <laughs> oh so chilly <laughs> hello Hi. world go ahead we're in Cincinnati, Ohio this week, and um, Daisy's dying to be on camera, apparently. Uh, she's shivering. Come here. Let's stay warm. Come on. Yeah, I know. Mommy's cold, too. I have the bed on in there for her. We have bed warmers. So, but um, anywho, so, so in the, uh, this is part two. Um, if you have not seen part one of the Grand Design Reflection 3 travel trailer. I don't remember. It's I want to say it's a 303 RLS, but I'm not sure if that's right. But if you haven't seen right. part one of the Grand Design Reflection that we did, that we, if you haven't seen the, and so, um, this, this, install. It, ugh, this install will, is, I don't know what I'm going to say. It's pretty awesome. That's what I want to say. My head is hurting so bad. We have two spoiled girls this morning. I think they were ready to go outside. Very needy. And, uh, but 
we thought we would represent with our little hats today even though it's really cold inside so mine's a KYD for keep your daydream and his is a Battleborn so thanks Battleborn for the swag if you ever want to see the softest dog ever when you meet us if, if we have the dogs with us you got to pet this one she's like cashmere I think we just flipped the breaker again we sure did but the light Out my campers. I look gangster with my little hat on and Baby careful, I'm gonna pull out my gat. I have no idea what you just said. The gat's a gun. Oh. A good old gangster on you. I'm clearly from the trying, south and have trying, absolutely no idea. Trying to represent. So pretty. Nah, she looked easy. That shit's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> okay. All right. Daddy's got to go to work. I know. He's got to go to work. I know. It's so sad.